오 예스 안녕하세요 아니 잠깐만 왜 이렇게 어둡지? 어둡죠? It's, it's dark 잠시만요 필터로 아 there we go What's good? What's up, fam? What's up, worldwide? BTG, BTG. Hey, guys. I wanted to come online, get on v a p and say what's up to you guys because I think it's about time v m has had his very own uh, solo v a p 네, 제가 오랜만에 혼자서 v a p 하는 게 좋을 것 같아서 한번 VAP을 틀었습니다. Uh, a lot of updates. 많이 업데이트 해드릴 게 있어요. Uh, 일단 최근에 LA 갔다 왔을 때 너무 재밌었고 너무 좋았고 곧또 가게 돼요. Yeah. I'm about to go to LA again soon. I'm about to touch home, but this time back back when I went, I was there for more work. But this time around, I'm actually going to be there for a um, for really to spend time with my family and to have leisure. So um, yeah, man, uh, I'm here. And it's 5 a.m. before class, and you are getting ready for class, huh? Oh, uh, what's good, guys? What's good, what's good? My eyebrows are gone. Yes, they are. I mean, you can kind of see them right now, but I have to have them match it with the hair. Like, you can't be blonde without blonde eyebrows. You, you, gotta, you gotta have both. You know, that's why you see idols and other um, K-pop artists that do their eyebrows with their hair. Yeah. It's your birthday, happy birthday. You could be my best friend. We could be best friend. My best friend. Yes, yes, I'll be spending Thanksgiving with my family. Uh, 네, 미국 Thanksgiving을 가족분들이랑 보내러 오랜만에 한번 미국 가서 가족분들이랑 좀 길, 길? 그, 그리 길진 않고 <웃음> 길게 한번 네, 가족분들이랑 um, 몇주 동안 같이 지내고 좀 쉬는 시간을 가지려고 해요. 뭐 쉬는 게 쉬는 게 아닐 수도 있고 가서 또 다른 미팅이랑 다른 어, 일도 있고 어마어마한 일도 있어요. There is a big thing actually that I am working on. Um, if you guys don't remember, me and Sammy have a we have a hit. We literally have the 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 greatest song. Uh, as you guys know, me and him are are both California boys, so we needed to you know do a little something to to show the world. And um, it's a great song that me and him made together, and we're actually gonna. Uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to disclose this. Maybe I'll let you guys hear it from Sammy, but me and him have a upcoming. Collaboration, so yeah. What's my favorite pie flavor? I don't know my oh my favorite pie. I love pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is awesome. I'm eating well. Yes. Can I be your boyfriend for a minute? Starts now. What's up, Bay? What's up, Bay? We have fifty seconds together. Marry me. Te amo, Colombia. Brazil, what's up? I miss Brazil, man. I really miss Brazil. Um, I miss I miss worldwide. You know, I miss being able to tour outside. I miss being able to do um, concerts in Korea. 한국에서도 공연하는 게 너무 그리워요, 사실. 근데 이제 곧 위더 코로나가 이제 되고 오늘부터 뭐. 그런 제안들이 풀렸다고 들어가지고 곧 어, 공연하는 자리가 생겼으면 좋겠어요. 예, 여러분들은 직접 얼굴을 마주하면서 볼수 있게 예, 그런 시기들이 너무 그립고 네 그리고 사실은 그 곳이 아닐 수도 있는데 근데 어쩌면 곳이에요. 저희 드디어 태영이 JSF 예, 나와가지고. 또 카드 컴백을 열심히 준비해야죠. 
Yeah. But yeah, guys, I've been good. I've been chilling. I've been just missing you guys like crazy, you know. Um Yeah, I mean, as far as spoilers go, uh I'm going to have a another recording today and um yeah. 녹음하는 곡도 오늘 가서 녹음하고 피처링도 있고 피처링 해주시는 분 너무 감사하게도 피처링 해주기로 해가지고 네, 너무 꿀 목소리이신 분인데 네 그거를 한번 녹음 받으러 가고 그리고 yeah I've been good guys um, oh also Stadium is about to have a sale for uh, Black Friday so be sure to check that out um, yeah, it's been such a beautiful year with Stadium being able to, you know, give back to, to communities in need and be able to represent and be an advocate for, you know, breast cancer awareness, for anti-bullying. And it's just, it's such a beautiful thing because I feel like every time I see a video or a picture of someone in Stadium, in Healer World, in, in Big Titty Gang, it's just like, wow, it just feeds back into my soul and it's just like so many people want to help you know so many people want to stand for for this cause of 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 being a helping hand to people in need you know so i think it's such a beautiful thing and i just want to thank you guys so much for supporting and continuing to support um uh stadium la so you know i just i just can't wait um yeah man Which was my favorite runway to walk? I actually only walked one runway back in Milan. It was for Hugo Boss, and it was a magnificent, magnificent show. It was a very um, American baseball themed runway, and we had they had cheerleaders there. They had people in the stands, and you know it was very, very uh, familiar to me. You know, because it was a lot of what I've seen when I was younger. So it was a really fun time being able to walk the the field as the runway and, you know, got a lot of good feedback. So it was awesome, man. It was so, so awesome. Yeah. My outfit, my outfit's just the daily, the regular, you know, just uh, some regular. I mean, this is from back in the day. This cap is, I think it's. Uh, a collab between Rick Owens and uh, no, it's a Rick Owens hat, yeah. And this um, this sweater is from Koche, very very dope brand, very classy. It's got these, it's got little uh, little designs on it. I don't know if you could see it. It's, it's it's nice. It's got a nice design. It's dope. And then shirt, I do have just a white beater underneath, just a tank top. Just to, you know, be comfortable. Although it is cold. Guys, stay warm. It's getting colder. Stay warm. Okay? Advice on depressed people. You know, when I'm depressed, when I'm feeling like um, I'm in that state, it's usually because... Um, I don't have something that I'm seeking so, so desperately, whether it's something I've been seeking, been sought, seeking after for such a long time, and it's still not, you know, in my possession, in my grasp. Um, that could be anything. It could be anything from materials, but most of the time it's not materialistic. It's most of the time something that, you know, you're missing in your life, whether it be um, good company, whether it be friends, family, you know what I mean? It, it really sucks. Um, I think uh, it's really hard to find the right answer for what cures it, you know? People always say that, that time heals everything. And sure, time plays a part, but I think rather than time, a more important factor is really um you know change something needs to change you know what i mean um i'm i'm currently not depressed i'm not depressed i'm in an okay state of heart state of mind 
and I, I try to share this state with you guys as much as I can through um, you know apps and platforms like Veeper, platforms like Universe and uh, platforms like VLive you know I really want to share with you guys so that you guys can um, be in a similar state but as far as depression goes you know uh, it's just so hard I know it's uh, I think I find myself when I am in the state where I, I need a I need to transition out of it. I think I was always one seeking um, seeking peer consultant consulting. You know, I I, I uh, looked to my peers. I looked to my family. You know, I told them my situation, and you know, I think having someone to talk to and release is very important. I also think um, seeking change. You know what I mean? Whether that be internal or external, seeking change is very important. Sometimes we don't have the strength to, you know, when we're in that state. Um, but yeah, every time I was, I wasn't in it for a short amount of time. You know, I was always in it for a very long time and it was never easy to find that strength to come out and to, and to you know, transition out of it, feeling like I had what it needs, what I needed to transition out. But um, one thing I really, really tried to keep in mind was gratitude. You know, I, I, I sat and thought about it. I have, you know, friends who love me, family who love me. I have a roof over my head. Some people don't have roofs over it, over their head. I have two arms, two legs. You know what I mean? Like, I'll punish myself mentally and be like, why are you in this position when you have so much, you know? Um, yeah, I mean, but that's just me personally. I like to really think of all the little things I have. Like, I have chicken breast I can eat. You know, some people don't have that type of luxury. You know, I try to be as grateful as I, I can be for the stuff that I feel I've been taking for granted. I don't know if that helps. I really hope it does. But it puts, it shines your life in a different light, I think, if... You know, you really start looking at what you have. And then it can put you on a trajectory where the next step seems a little bit more clear. You know, like what's... It, it, for me, most of the time, the reason... Um, I, I, I get depressed when I'm not busy. Because not being busy means I'm not sought out for. I'm not needed, right? But... Um, after I go through, you know, thoughts of gratitude and thoughts of what I need to do, uh, what, what I have, uh, I start having these thoughts of what am I, what am I seeking and what's the next step towards it, you know? So routine, there, there's a, there's a, there's a good word, routine. Sometimes you just have to change your routine, your daily routine sometimes, and really, really find yourself to build strength to get out of it, you know? And it's never easy. It's never, never easy. So I really hope uh, you go through. I will pray for you. I will hope for you to go through what you're going through in a healthy manner. Um, and every time I receive love from fans, it's just nowadays it's like, wow. Like, I'm just, I'm just me, you know, I'm just me and, and you guys send this love and support. It's like, it puts, it puts me in a mind state, like, where are you? You know, I hope you're doing good as well. Um, it just makes me want to reciprocate that love back to you guys. You know what I mean? So, um, gratitude, you know, I, I'm so grateful for you guys' love and support. And, um, I really hope and pray that whatever you're going through, uh, you're going through it as well. You know, sometimes I read DMs of, of um, you know, people going through what they're going through and fans really seeking help. And granted, I'm not, you know, allowed to respond to everyone. I do sit, I ponder, and I really pray to God that you guys can, you know, find your way out of the situation you're in into a better one. So, 
yeah very grateful for you guys very very grateful for you guys um <clears throat> but yeah um what's the next concept for the comeback there's no concept set up right now but i really want to have and show you guys i really want to show you guys and i really want to uh display a more elevated a more refurbished and a more um I say relatable card a more relatable BM and that's the thing with music you know like it has to transcend and it has to not transcend it has to um, resonate you know and like I feel like my job as a musician is to make you feel a certain way through my music and um, that trajectory is always different every time and I feel like with the next one uh, I just want I just want you guys to feel warm and that's just my solo my next solo I want you guys to feel warm it is a winter it's a cold winter ahead of us so uh, yeah why does it seem like I've lost weight I have lost I've been trying to get back in shape uh, after LA I took uh, uh, I think a week off to just eat what I wanted to eat and really um, <clears throat> give myself a reward for, I think, like seven, eight months of just hard dieting. I think this year alone, just the amount of alcohol I drank this year alone was probably the amount of alcohol um, a normal person drinks in, in a night. Uh, I think I had like two bottles of soju, um, a couple glasses of whiskey, and uh, like a couple cans of beer just this whole year alone because i've been really trying to focus on keeping my health uh intact so i can continue to present you guys with the best me i can you know so i look so baby right now why do i look so baby right now oh man no 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 stop with the compliments stop it i'm um, no keep keep going keep going it makes me want to work harder for you guys uh it makes me want to continue to make you guys proud so yeah i'm going to continue to work hard i have a um i've worked today and you guys don't understand how how immensely strengthening it is especially you know these days where covid limits so many things when you guys send your love you know what i mean it's just so 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 strengthening and it's so uplifting and and it gets my spirits up so much you know so i just want to thank you guys uh so 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 much it's uh it's really really helpful and So, 그걸 한번 네, 표현을 하고 싶어요. 너무 감사하고 그런 것들 생각했을 때 아무리 어려워지고 아무리 땀이 흘리고 아무리 눈물이 흘리고 그래도 정말 엄청난 힘이 돼요. 계속 이어가고 계속 힘을 내고 이어갈 수 있는 그런 어, 힘을 주는 게 네, 우리 히든이들이어서 너무 감사하다는 말을 언제나 표현하고 싶은데 오늘도 네, 이렇게 한번 브이 라이브를 통해서 한번 예, 말씀을 드리고 싶어요. 너무 애매한 시간에 제가 지금 뭐 오늘 평일이고 다 일하고 계실 수도 있고 학교에 계실 수도 있는데 이렇게 애매한 시간에 켜서 너무 죄송해요. <웃음> 예, 오늘은 한번 오랜만에 켜서 제가 느끼는 거를 한번 예, 말씀드리고 싶었고요. 어... 앞으로도 계속 열심히는 하고 
이제 슬슬 카드도 준비하고 어, 그런 시기가 다 보고 있는 것 같아요. Yeah. What concept do I want to do for cards next come back? You know, that's a great question. And I think um, there's still so much we haven't shown yet. There's still so much we could do. And there's so much of what each individual member can do that they haven't shown yet too. So I think for the next comeback, we're going to try our best to make that um, as elevated as possible. Just bring out the best, you know, because it's been a long hiatus and I, I know you guys are waiting for it. So I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys. Positive vibes, always. What do I think of PH1 being on the new host of Get Real? PH1, he is a great moderator. He mediates so well. I think uh, the last episode of Tableau, I watched from start to finish. And I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't even know if I watched my episodes from start to finish. But um, that one was really funny. I think PH1 has a, has a great, he's very savvy with his words. When it comes to uh, bringing out not only the funny side of people, but side of people where, you know, listeners really, uh, they think, you know. And um, uh, from what I remember, conversating with PH1, he always has his hairy situations and they really put you in perspective. So big ups to PH1. Uh, my guy Harry, he is a awesome mediator as well as he is a, a very prolific artist. So, yeah, shout out to PH1. What inspires me to make music? Um, man, so many things. I mean, in the beginning, I think it was so external. It was just I wanted to look cool and I wanted to feel cool. But there came a certain point in time in my career where I was just like, it has to be for less for me and more for others. But obviously it's through experiences or through imaginations or through what I feel. Um, you know, it's very imaginative at times. It's very situational at times. It's very... Uh, you know, it's based on so many things. But at the end of the day, for me, what I want my music to do is really to touch hearts and to touch minds and to touch souls and to really make you feel a way where it helps you release any type of negative energy. You know what I mean? Whether that be if you're just hyped for a second, you're just, oh my goodness, like so hyped and it makes you want to dance. Awesome. If it makes you want to cry and release inner stress that you've been holding on to, I'm for it. If, it, if it's uh, just as simple as keeping you relaxed, you know, something to listen to right before you sleep. I love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Advice for a sixth grader, huh? Oh, man. When I was in sixth grade, what was I doing in sixth grade? I'm going to be honest with you. Studies were the last of my worries. The only thing I loved in sixth grade was hot Cheetos with melted cheese and cup ramen with uh, jalapenos. Um, I'll just say this. What you feel is important at, in sixth grade is not a dictator on what's really going to drive your life for the best. You know what I mean? Um, at least it was for me. Like, I was so focused on so many things that just, you know, I was focused on fun. I was focused on games. I was focused on just playing with my friends, going to uh, uh, swim. And if I didn't have that, I would think it was the end of my life. But um, I don't know. I think um, I like elevating minds. I like having conversations where my mind is elevated. And although you're in sixth grade, enjoy it. You know, enjoy it while you can. 
um, play with your friends, but don't play with your friends too much. Uh, obviously, you have to. Um, you're not going to understand this in sixth grade. I sure as hell didn't. But that's a very vital time where you start to, you know, build a lot of your cognitive sense. And um, it's important to, you know, really have good vibes around you, too. Oh, man, I'm like going so here and there, I think. But um, yeah, sixth grade. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. When I was in sixth grade, I got bad anxiety and kind of figured out how to cope and find out what mattered. Wow, you did that in the sixth grade? That's amazing. I'm still trying to do that now. And I'm like, not always successful at it. Big ups to you. What advice would I give to young adults? Mm. Strive. Strive. Um, my mid-20s was a very hectic and very uh, negative point in time in my life. Um, I think it's important that you have people around you that support you for the best and uh, build people and, 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 and people that you have around you that you can build trust with. Very important. Very important. Would you like to model again on another occasion? Because you did amazing and you look as AF. Yeah. I mean, I love it. It's, 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 that's also a, uh, it's also a stage. You know, it's a different type of stage, but it's a stage nonetheless. And I love being on stage. Motivation to hit the gym and not be a chunky monkey. You and me both need that. I'm not going to lie these days. Um, I don't work out as aggressively as I used to before. Um, two reasons. One, I'm trying to stay a little bit leaner for various reasons. I think, <clears throat> you know, it's... Um, I just feel cool. I feel like the dancing feels a little bit better. Like when you're a little bit more lean. Um, and two, my, my lower back is not always in the best condition. And if I work out too hard, sometimes it puts a lot of strain and it's a little bit more it could take. So I try to be healthy. I try, I try to do enough so that I'm healthy, but while continuing to build muscle. Do I miss dive studios? Absolutely. Dive is, is family, you know, dive studios is family. And, um, I love po doing podcasts as well. Uh, and yeah, I miss it. I miss it. I think, uh, right now though, I'm trying to really focus on, uh, you know, working on myself so that when I do return to dive, I'll have much more insight and stories to share with you guys. Yeah. I have not been, I'm actually going to go see Joseph's musical next week. So we'll be there to support and be hella loud in the stands. Can you give us some advice that you would have liked to be given when you were young? You know, the funny thing about advice that you give that you wish you could have gotten when you were young. I feel like for me, nine times out of ten. Those were advice that I've that I heard when I was that age and when I was young. Like anything I wish I could have told myself when I was younger, I heard it before, but it just hits different. So I think it's inevitable. If you can't understand it and if you can't have um the the the, the open mind to take that advice when you're young you need to go through experiences that open your mind and put you in a perspective where it makes sense because if not it won't make sense you know you have to you have to really be open-minded so i think one thing i really wish i could have uh advised my younger self was 
to be um let me think something that I haven't heard before don't focus on on your own standards too much. The world is huge, the world is huge, and there's so many different standards, and there's so many different um preferences there's so many different types of people there's so many different types of everything and i think being closed-minded and 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 not being open and just sticking to your preference too much can be sometimes you know a negative thing for you so open-mindedness is is key i think yeah BM, are you on the McDonald's menu? Because you're McGorgeous. Should I change my stage name to McGorgeous? What are the other members doing? I have no idea. Oh, Dios mio. I just hosted your birthday cup sleeve in LA. I actually caught that. Hey, I want, I want to say thank you so much for hosting that. Um, I wish I could have been there. And, and saw those cup holders firsthand. Uh, they were beautiful. Great job with that. And thank you so much. That actually was really heartwarming to be able to see um, that happen, uh, you know, in the in the States. So it's it, it was awesome. Thank you so much for that. Where are my eyebrows? They're right here. They're just uh, a little transparent right now. I feel like you'll give good hugs. I give amazing hugs. I give amazing hugs. The best heart-filled, heart-filled, tight hugs ever. Do I like singing or composing better? Both, both. Favorite song to dance your worries away. I like China by Anwar Dubla. Super dope. Featuring uh, Osuna, Daddy Yankee, and Carol G. Such a good song. Approach me, approach me, you know, approach me. when I, If you ever see me in LA, if you catch me at a store or whatever, just say, just say you're a fan and ask for a hug. I'll give you the tightest hug. I'll give you a warm, tight hug. I love my fans. Yeah. I hope um I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly start closing this V Live. Uh I hope that I was some type of positive energy for you guys today. It's uh what the middle of the week. It's a day. So it's the start of a week. It's a Tuesday. I just want to wish you guys a great week, a healthy week in mind, body, and soul. And um, uh, I want to give you guys things to look forward to. I do have upcoming stuff coming out, whether it be collabs, whether it be my own stuff. So be on the lookout. Um, dates are tentative, so you guys will be definitely notified when they start coming out. But yeah, um, again, thank you so much for supporting Stadium LA. Uh, there is going to be a sale on Black Friday, so check that out. It's a support for a great cause. If you guys don't know about it, we have Healer World, Healers, the line that uh, supports against anti-bullying, and then uh, that supports anti-bullying. And we have, uh, as you guys all know, the Big Titty Gang. Uh, it supports breast cancer awareness. So take care, guys. Have a great week. Get good sleep. And... Um, just want to let you guys know I love you guys very much and thank you always for the support. And here's a finger heart before I leave. Bye. Peace out.